Hi, Mark Reedy here. In this video, I'm going to go over the Need Maintenance and Repairs tab and the Repairs Completed tab. So the Repairs Completed and the Need and Maintenance Repairs uh, can be used in lieu of work orders. You just don't get as much detail as you do with a work order. You don't get to track uh, individual labor items or cost or parts cost, individual parts and so forth. So it's just a quick and dirty way to keep track of your repairs. You might want to use this if you're outsourcing your repairs and you just get a bill and you want to keep track of the uh, amount that it cost, for example, here. So the needed maintenance and repairs is just things that haven't been done yet. So uh, we just put in uh, a specific repair you might have to get done. Broken tail light, for example. And will, you can double click in any of these date fields to put the current date in. So I'll put today's date in and um, I'm not going to put a completed date in or OK to transfer over to repair. So what this does is the completed date will just pull it off of the reminder screen and the OK to transfer over to repairs will actually copy all this information over to the repairs completed tab. So now that I've actually saved this in here, we can see if we go to reminders pop up screen under forms, forms and the reminders pop up. Uh, we will see underneath the needed uh, repairs need uh, excuse me repairs needed reminders right here is the this is the repair showing up so it's got a complete by date and the description of what needs to be done and if this piece of equipment had a department or area or location this would show up in this area as well as same thing with the description for the equipment so that's where that's going to show up um, you can also go up to reports and underneath all equipment reports you will see a uh, report called needed maintenance repairs I can just preview that here and it's going to show us this one needed maintenance and repair so that's how you can uh, kind of bring up that information same thing over in the report on the uh, reminders pop-up screen you can print out the uh, repairs needed right here by clicking the print button within the tab so if I click that that's just going to bring up a screen to show me uh, what's in that list and allow me to print that out all right so we'll now we'll consider this repair has been completed so I'm going to put a completed date that's going to pull it off of the reports and off of the reminders pop-up screen and then the final step I can do here you can go over oh, to repairs completed you can see there's nothing in here at this point if I click on OK I get a message pop up that asks me if I want to delete this uh, needed maintenance and repair from the list and transfer it over or just transfer it over. So if I say yes here, it'll delete it from the list so that this list doesn't get clogged up with a whole bunch of uh, lists of previously needed maintenance and repairs items. And um, if I say no, I'm going to say no to this. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to say no. And then if we click over here to the Repairs Completed tab, you'll see that it's been added to this list over here. And at this point, you can put the odometer reading in um, at the time that the uh, repair was completed or the hours meter reading at the time it was completed and the cost. So if you just put in, for example, an odometer reading, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, copy this odometer reading to the equipment itself. And so I'm going to say yes. And then if we go over to uh, the cost, we can put the cost in here and just say $55, for example. And, and that's going to uh, just keep track of that cost. You'll be able to print these costs out later. If we go over here to what's going to be current equipment reports and the repairs report. So that's just going to show us the repairs. And, we, and then it asks us which year we want to choose to uh, view for this report. So we'll say 2014. It's going to show us the one repair right there, along with some other details about the equipment. Uh, we could also view the repairs details or uh, re reporting underneath reports. More reports, and if we go down here and choose report type, repairs completed all the way at the bottom here. You can see there's also a need to maintenance repair uh, selection as well. And then uh, the repairs completed. And then we can just choose a customer or buy equipment. And then we can put a date range in. And if we just want to look at specific equipment, we could choose that. Or if we wanted to look at a specific type of repair, we could put that in here. For example, if we wanted to put the word, you know, break in for brake lights, um, you could, or, or brakes, for example, if you wanted to see all your costs for uh, brakes, 
you could do that by using a asterisk as a wildcard. So break and then they could just preview that. Oh, no wonder it wasn't showing up because there I didn't use the word break. Let's go ahead and preview this. You can see I've got the word broken tail light, not brake light. So if I type in the word light, for example, and put an asterisk around that and preview that, it's going to show bring up the light. Okay, so that's how you can look up certain descriptions uh, using this report. So we'll go back over here and back over the needed maintenance and repairs. And you can also sort this list. So if I put in some more stuff here, and then if I want to sort alphabetically, you can see that it resorts the list by the description. You can also sort by completed date, newest to oldest, oldest to newest, uh, complete by date or completed date. And then you can also view to see only certain things, like you want to see only the not completed or only the completed ones. So if we want to see only the not completed ones, we choose that. And you can see here that these two items are not completed yet, so they're the only ones showing up in the list. Alrighty, and uh, let's go back over to repairs completed. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is we have that cost there. You can choose to view certain years and it'll bring up the cost, uh, how much you've spent on the equipment for that particular year uh, in this particular tab. All right, so that's it for needed mates and repairs and repairs completed. Hope that's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take care.